Harry, slow down. No, 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 we'll lose her. No, watch. You slow down, she'll slow down. She has no intention of losing you, right? You mean she's a decoy? She tricked us? God, why do I love that? Good part. Hang on. They made me, Frank. Get out of there. He's gone. I missed him. The wardrobe is closed. She left it open. How could he need so badly to go to all that trouble to get? She was in and out of here in 30 seconds. She knew exactly where everything was. We've been staring at this apartment for three days. Now, what do we know about this man? You think she's been living here with him? We know he's nearsighted. The TV is too close to the easy chair. Yeah, when we met him, he wasn't wearing glasses. Maybe contact lenses? Ah, just because she's doing his dirty work doesn't mean that she's... He went to the wardrobe. Now, what isn't here? No, I don't know, Frazier. Some of her stuff, some of his stuff. How am I supposed to know? These sheets have hospital corners. Oh, thank God they're not floral. Only a woman buys floral. That's something you learn in the Army, Ray. Oh, not with a rap sheet like his. What if you were in the National Guard? Well, that would give him access to weapons. It's missing. What? What's the one thing a guardsman is never supposed to be without? His uniform. That's what he came back for, Ray. His uniform. What for? in the National Guard, 85 through 88. Still active? With his record? Check anyway and get me the name and location of every unit he's been a member of. Some nice young thing who's crazy about me. You know, someone who wears shorty pajamas and knits me muffins at Christmas time. Is that too much to ask for? What exactly are shorty pajamas? Oh, don't ask. You're better off. Me? I got a fall for some hit and run driver who works for a stolen weapons dealer. Go figure. Go figure what? It's an American expression, Frazier. Don't you think it's about time you picked up the lingo? Take out the cops. Take them out. She had the perfect shot, Frazier. She almost killed me. No, she didn't, Ray. She missed you by 17 centimeters. What? She was firing a Beretta 9mm. The light was at her back. The truck was barely moving. I pulled this out of the wall from behind you. What are you saying, that she missed me on purpose? Her trajectory was offline by almost eight degrees, which is impossible to do unless you're trying. Why? I don't know. But maybe I do. Maybe I saw it in her eyes. 
Uh, Ray, you've only known this woman for a few seconds while you had a concussion. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter, Fraser. I mean, ten seconds, ten years. Chemistry is chemistry. I figure Bodine's got something on her. Maybe she did something foolish when she was younger, and Bodine's blackmailing her into helping him. Well, I, I suppose it's a theory, she but... She really wants to get out. That's why she's sending me signals, Fraser. She wants me to rescue her. Ray, Ray. Maybe you shouldn't think about this right now. No, I mean, come on. How often in a lifetime does this type of thing happen? I mean, has it ever happened to you? Well, I, I, uh... No, of course not. You're a Mountie. What does a Mountie know about women? I think I'm in love with her, Frazier. Freezing in here. When's the coffee gonna be ready? As soon as you make it. Oh, great. Why don't they call, huh? Sitting on half a million bucks worth of weapons, I gotta deal with flakes. Is the phone turned on? I'll leave it on the table. You know, I, I, I still don't know how you miss that cop. Neither do I. Off day, I guess. Yeah, well, I don't like that cop or his uh, fruitcake Mountie friend. We should take them both out. You never learn to relax, Frank. How are we ever going to enjoy that half million if you can't relax? He's a Mountie. These Mounties, they catch you sooner or later. I hate that. That's not real life, Frank. That's Rocky and Bullwinkle. Call me when the coffee's ready. They made me, Frank. Get out of there. Is that her voice? She's doing it under duress. Right. She shot at you under duress, too. Was that the only call in or out? There was one wrong number and someone trying to sell life insurance. What the hell were you doing following her? She took some clothes out of Bodine's apartment. Hey, you don't quit a stakeout. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Well, unless you got a little thing for that babe who's decoying you. Did I ask your opinion? Did anybody in this room ask for Detective Gardino's opinion? Can you give me the number she was calling from? Sure, but she called from her car. It was a cell phone. No, you're never going to track a cell. It's a nightmare. Uh, not really, not if you've tracked Caribou. Frazier, let's try this one more time, okay? We're in Chicago. We're not tracking Caribou. We're tracking gun runners. No, no, I understand, Ray, but I think we can catch them the same way. What we need is a map of the company's antenna locations. What time is it? 2.20. Oh, they said 2 o'clock. I know. I should have got half the money up front. That way they couldn't have stiffed me. Well, why didn't you think of that? I did. But what do I know? What's it called again? It's called triangulation, Ray. It's the same technique that game wardens use to track caribou herds. Oh, that's fascinating, Frazier, but the last caribou spotted in Chicago was over 300 years ago. That was the cell phone company. They found her number and picked up the signal here, near Carpentersville. It's farmland mostly, not too many folks with mobile phones in those parts. Does the phone have to be in use to pick up a signal? No, it just has to be turned on to receive calls. It emits a signal unless the power's off. That's the good news. Elaine, we are attempting to track criminals as though they were fur-bearing animals. What news could be bad? The grid covers an area of over 20 square miles, unless you plan to go door to door. Okay, Frazier, how do we find the herd? The cellular phone company sends a signal from their antenna to the phone. The phone then sends a signal back. We draw a line on the map from that location to the signal. Then we move to another location, trip the signal again, draw another line. That's our triangulation. Wherever those lines meet on the map, that's where we'll find Bodine. I find her, I gotta arrest her too. End of story. Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Where? All right, we'll meet you there in an hour. Pack your bikini, baby.
getting something. There. Take the barn, I'll take the house. Stephen Baker. Oh, never mind.
kissed me. After she hit you? I'm gonna see her in jail, Frazier, if it's the last thing I do. This road intersects with the main highway in 5.4 kilometers. I want her, Frazier. We can stop them from getting to the highway. I'm gonna put this chick away for a long time. She'll be 90 before they let her out. Perhaps you should radio for backup. She won't be able to do this to men anymore. Ray, backup. Huh? It might be a good idea to radio the sheriff's station and request backup. Right. Patch me through to the Kane County Sheriff's Station. How long before we hit the highway? A few more minutes. Armed robbery, attempted murder, assault and battery on a police officer. What do you figure, 40 to life? I don't know, Ray. Hard time in Joliet. Slow down. What? There's a road up on the right. There they are. Damn it, it's them. Slow it, baby. Go, go! Sure, this is a good idea? Yes, Frazier. You're quite sure? Yes. Now what? Go around it. There's no rope. What's the matter with you? Then go through it! Ray, I don't mean to press the point, but we're standing behind a 1971 Buick Riviera. They, on the other hand, are hurtling down a hill at roughly 47 miles an hour in a six ton steel plated military weapons carrier. Works for me. Very good. Go through it! Out of donuts, are we? Anna. Are you all right? What happened? It's my own story. You need an ambulance. No, stay. Stay. Are you okay to walk? I think so. Good. Good. Come on. Come on, get up. Oh. Oh. Get out of here. What? Get out of here. You can cut through the woods. You gotta get to the highway. You're letting me go. I tried to kill you three times. What are you, deaf? Get the hell out of here. Special Agent Suzanne Chapin, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. You just screwed up five months of work, Detective.
my shield, Frazier. Nine years on the force down the drain. I'll do her mitigating circumstances, right? She's a fed, Frazier. I offered to let her go. She's gonna put that in her report, and three minutes later, Welsh is gonna call me into his office and ask for my shield. They'll be right. I would have bet my soul on her, Frazier. Well, if you ask me, he would have been better off if she just hit him, left him dead on the pavement. See, that is the trouble with signs. If you get the right sign from the wrong woman, you end up paying for it for the rest of your life. Better he never saw that sign. Better never happened. Then how would you know? How would I know what? If you never saw the sign, how would you know if you were wrong or right? You don't know. You just go on taking chances like every other dumb schmo. See, that is the great thing about love. It evens the odds. Anyone can be completely humiliated. Well, if there was a sign and I could tell just by the way he blew his nose or tipped his hat, I'd want to know. Women don't have signs. Men have signs. Women have biological imperatives. It's true, I read it. Jeez. Gardino, no wonder your wife left you for a pork roast. <laughs> what? Lieutenant wants to see you back here. Yeah, and bring your playbook. Come in. Yeah, sit down, Vecchio. Oh, I'd rather stand, sir. Suit yourself. I have Special Agent Chapin's report on the Bodine arrest here. Would you like me to read the relevant passage? Yeah, sure, why not? We were able to seize 850 assault weapons and put Frank Bodine in custody. This arrest could not have been accomplished without the assistance of Detective Ray Vecchio, who was instrumental in bringing this operation to a satisfactory conclusion. His hard work and his courage in the face of danger were exemplary. Congratulations, Detective. I'm sorry, sir? said congratulations yeah yes thank you sir i gotta find a freighter i took the liberty regents park hotel thanks It meant something. Yeah, it meant step closer so I could hit you. You must be really good at your job. Apparently. What do you take me for, some kind of jerk? What do you think, you can walk away and not spend the rest of your life wishing you had the guts to say it? It was a job. Then why didn't you report me? Come on, who needs the paperwork? That's it, Frazier. That's the sign. What is, Ray? The look. 
She left me, but she left me for the right reason. She loves me. But she's gone. Well, that's what's right for us. Maybe someday it won't be, but now it is. But you might never see each other again. Exactly. That's what we need. Ridiculous odds and just a speck of hope that someday we'll beat them. I can't say I understand that, Ray. Well, of course you don't. You're not too swift with this stuff, are you, Fraser? Yeah. 